Thank you, Supervisor, for coming. Although some of the things you said were simply not true about what happened with people's belongings here in Venice, absolutely not true. I don't really want to argue with you about that. What I want to say is that since you say you own the beach, and that would include some of the parking lots, when you took the beach away from any oversized vehicles, the parking lots, you restricted oversized vehicles from the parking lots, I want to know exactly why you did that. Because it was right before a large police enforcement action that came down on the people living in RVs. And what happened was the people didn't have a place to go during the day, some of them very long-time Venice residents. That's one. And also, that was quite cruel because they were towed, they were arrested, and their dogs were taken to the pound. And, you know, it's not helping the people that you're supposed to help by arresting them. And also, the other thing I want to say is that when you give somebody a voucher, and then you stick them somewhere far away from any food, a once-a-month pantry or something like that, somebody who's on general relief, it's a nightmare for them. And I have been personally taking food to people that have been given housing that are in worse situations than when they were on the street living in their vehicles. And it's like a slumlord. They're privately owned. It's like a nasty place. And they're not, the mentally ill people there are not being regulated because it's a private owner. I mean, there's people dealing drugs out of the place. And there's roaches, and there's vermin. And I wouldn't live there. And I don't think they should have to live there. And I don't think they should have to accept that just because they were homeless. It's not right. And it's a bad situation. I mean, housing should be a positive thing. Thank you, Peggy Lee. Thank you. Thank you, Supervisor. Thank you, Council. 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 Thank you